What's going on everyone? So I'm getting ready to go to either O'Reilly's or AutoZone um, because I'm gonna try and see if I can quickly get a replacement bulb um, for my LED, or I want LEDs, but the yellow uh, license plate bulbs, uh, this bad boy right here, I believe it's a Festoon bulb, uh, 42 millimeter in that general range. So I'm gonna go see if either of those two stores carry a cool white, preferably 600K LED, and I'm gonna replace those. I mean, this should be very simple to do, um, but I'm gonna be honest, one of the things that I've constantly be continuing to notice as I try and do some stuff on the Lotus is it's really hard to figure out what the parts are. Like, hey, what size is it? What bulbs are they using? Is it 42 millimeter, 37 millimeter? Uh, what type of bulbs are in the front? It's always like, takes a lot of research to figure that out. So anyone trying to replace their license plate bulbs, I'm pretty sure it's a Festoon bulb, 42 millimeter. Um, you could do LED, incandescent, whatever color you want. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's about five watts maybe. Um, but uh, anyways, let me go head on out and see if I can find those. <laughs> Okay, so O'Reilly's is the first stop. So I'm gonna go in and head inside and see if I can find the bulb. I didn't actually check online, but I'm, I'm hoping this is a pretty common bulb. It should be, I mean, I'm pretty sure most license plate bulbs are probably about the same type of bulb. Let's head and see if we can find this bad boy. License plate bulbs. Okay guys, so the guy that worked at O'Reilly said that because I'm trying to do an LED, I may need a resistor. I highly doubt I do. I saw a lot of people do LED. So I bought one real quick just to try it out, see if it works. So then I'm gonna go back inside and buy the other. They literally only have two in stock. So I told him to hold it. I'm gonna do the DIY right here in front of the store real quick just to see if it works. Like I said, it's super simple. Um, and uh, they're $8.65 for one bulb. So $16 for license plate bulbs. The guy originally picked up the same replacement one. I'm like, I don't want yellow again, man. I'm trying to get some white. You got white. So it was kind of funny. But let me go ahead and knock this out real quick. You always got to keep that thing on you. Dang, I dropped the bulb and now it's somewhere in the back of my car. I actually probably don't want to lose that. Ugh. There it is. What is this? Oh, my buddy's lens cap. He was looking for that. I could tell him I found it. Like always, gotta keep this thing on you, ready to go at all times. So let me go ahead and do the swap real quick. So if you look, can't tell if you can really see, it's just two screws and then that little glass pops out and you stick that bad boy in. Also, I've noticed that around this journal area, the car gets so freaking dirty and it's always a pain. Also, as I'm thinking about it, my third brake light has not worked since I bought the car. I'm sure it's disconnected. If anyone is watching this that owns a Lotus Evora and is pretty savvy about it, if you can buy me some pointers and tips on how I'm supposed to get this third brake light back up and running, that would be phenomenal. Otherwise, I gotta do some research and figure that out. And I, I don't know if it's the whole bulb unit's broke, if the wiring is broke, if it's just not plugged in, I have no idea. So I need to figure that out. Um, but like I've said before, it's very hard to find information uh, readily when you're on the forum so I'm gonna have to do a little research to figure that out any pointers and tips that'd be great thanks guys all right so I got it unscrewed as you can see and now I can just insert the new one in and then I'll test out the light real quick all right I got the bulb in make sure you put it in with the LEDs facing down obviously you don't want it to be shining into the box um, with incandescent bulbs, you can put it in any way, so make sure you put this in the proper way. I'm gonna turn the car on, see if it lights up. We have light, guys. Super simple. So you can see the old color there, real ugly and yellow. New color, very similar to my light, uh, light color on my new bulb. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy the other one real quick and complete this DIY. Alrighty, new light in, old light in. I'm actually gonna wait till nighttime to switch this one just so you can see the color difference at night 
because uh, it's so simple to do. But I'm going to go inside and buy the new one so I have both bulbs ready and uh, pretty easy. And the bulb I picked up was a Sylvania LED 6418 Cool White. Um, no issues there. Uh, for anyone that's probably going to try and maybe just buy the same bulbs or wants to have an idea, this is the bulb I bought. I always get these dots on my car. And specifically, every now and then I get this same dot in the almost the exact same place like every day. It's very strange. Second bulb acquired. We are in business, boys. We're all good to go. So it's pretty cool. I mean, the car gets uh, pretty good respect by itself. A lot of head turning and stuff as people try to figure out what the car is. When I'm out with other guys with like Lamborghinis, McLarens, and all those well-known established cars, my car just disappears. Um, I think I bought this car for very particular reasons. I can't be upset that people don't know about the car. I mean, how can I blame them? Lotus is not that uh, well-known in the United States, but it's whatever. Anyway, super easy uh, time to be able to go down the street. It's like three minutes from my house. Randomly just picked up two of the bulbs, got those in, excited to kind of see how they look at night. I've been getting so much smack from some of my buddies. One second, guys, I'll get back to it. So yeah, like I was saying, my buddy was giving me so much smack from having yellow bulbs in the back. He was like, hey man, this is 2019, how can you have those terrible colored bulbs? And he's right, I actually didn't know they were that color. Once again, another downfall from Lotus. Why would you put yellow bulbs in a car in 2019? It's ridiculous. But anyways, it's just a small thing that lead to easy fixes. Um, while I'm talking about fixes and things, a couple things on the horizon that I want to be able to do is I really want to detail and clean this car. I haven't really taken the time to try and get a lot of the paint correction on it, um, nor have I ever really done that because my M3 is satin and you really can't do some of those processes. But I'm probably going to go out, get some pads, get some uh, um, different stages of wax and stuff like that polished and buff the car. Um, and then ceramic coat it and then probably do a nice interior cleaning. I could pay someone to do it, but honestly, I like doing YouTube content, so it's easy content. And it's a great experience to really just get up close with the car and really, you know, feel the entire car out and understand kind of the condition of the car as I, as I go about doing that. Also, I'm going to end up changing my oil. I need to do an oil change. Looking, it doesn't look like it's too hard. And so I'm gonna actually buy my oil and actually do that change. So I have a DIY video for the oil change coming up soon. Um, hopefully I can have a buddy help me out using some race ramps and whatnot to be able to make it a little easier. But anyways, that's it guys. I'll wait till the night time to show you guys the difference in the lights, finish that up, and this'll be it. Appreciate you guys for checking me out. What's going on guys? So it's now dark outside, so I'm gonna show a quick comparison. Uh, ooh, almost fell. A quick comparison of the original uh, uh, bulbs that were in the license plate and then the new LED bulb. So here's a good look. Original light, new light. Absolutely much better. And then my tails. I mean, the light that the camera shows for these tails does no justice to how they look in real life. These tails are amazing. Uh, but let me go ahead and swap out the other license plate real quick. I really do love the look. It really updates the car. I mean, the yellow just was, ah, oh, it's just looking so bad. It was just looking so bad with the yellow light. Now with the, the white light, you can really, really adore the rear end of the car. Let me go ahead and finish this swap real fast. All right, guys, so I got both of the lights in. You can see now the rear look of my Lotus Avora at night. Very clean, much better look than the stock. I'm a huge fan, it, it really makes the car look a lot newer, no complaints.